high 24 meters don't want to come off as weird to my apparent guardian angel 40 meters. Update thank you so much for all of the advice and kind words. You guys are great. I've been very hesitant to use Reddit up until now but you guys have proven my skepticism wrong. I've decided I most definitely should write a letter for sure explaining how much he has helped me and how grateful I am. I think it's probably best to avoid any strange verbiage like father figure or guardian angel just because I don't want to make myself uncomfortable more than anything. Also, I think based on a lot of your suggestions it might make me feel good if I got him a gift. Early on in our friendship he and I connected on our mutual love for fishing. He is an avid spin fisherman, and I love fly fishing, and actually am very good at it. He mentioned to me that he'd love to learn to fly fish one day but never has. Would it be cool if I bought him a nice fly rod and reel? And just added a P.S. to the note that I'll gladly teach him how to fly fish someday. Or would that be weird? Let me know. Also also, anyone know any good psychiatrists? Thanks for all your feedback, observations, kind words, and advice everyone. Original post. Most of my life after high school has been me skipping from job to job either because of my inability to perform the job, laziness, or just plain rudeness on my part. This probably all has a lot to do with the lack of a good relationship with my father. I have struggled, even in childhood, to find anything I'm passionate about. Often when I try something new I will get really excited about it and then be done with it after a week or two. This pattern has led to severe depression and terrible relationships in most parts of my life. I have a few friends who are close and supportive, but they are so keenly aware of how untrustworthy I am. Just because I change my mind about who I am, and what I believe so often. About a year and a half ago, I went to get my hair cut at a barber shop near my house. I had recently become miserable in my latest endeavor, teaching music. I had never met the barber and he had never met me, but he asked me a few questions, and I grudgingly answered. He stopped cutting my hair, looked me in the eye and said, you just need to be a barber. I laughed, and he reiterated, no, I'm serious, there's a school right down the street, you need to be a barber. Flash forward a year and a half, I've graduated barber school, and I have a job cutting hair. I've never been more excited or passionate about anything in my life, aside from getting married. The process of getting to this point has been insanely difficult, but also extraordinarily fulfilling. I've never felt this way. It's like no matter how much life sucks, I always have comfort in knowing that I am on a road to becoming a better barber. To put it simply, this is the first time I've stuck with anything for more than eight months and I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. During every step of the process of becoming a barber, this man has been like a guardian angel. He not only directed me to the school, but somehow got my tuition rate lowered by speaking with the school owner without my knowledge. He encouraged me every time I felt unsure or afraid, and let me stand next to him for hours on in at his shop and taught me everything I didn't get to learn at school, tricks of the trade, and his special secrets that he's learned over the years. My wife, I know unbelievable that I'm married given my background right, was ready to divorce me, and break up with me. But this man and his wife counseled us, and helped us make it through the year of barber school. As the icing on the cake, he secured a job for me, cutting right next to him, at his brother's barber shop. This is just a sampling of the pure graciousness this person has shown me. Every time I'm around him, I want to express to him how thankful I am, and how I want to make him proud. It's like he's the father I never had, but for some reason, I'm afraid that he will be put off if I thank him. I'm not sure what it is. I feel like I owe this man everything that I care about. If it weren't for him I'd be working in McDonald's. Single and probably suicidal. No hate for McDonald's workers. It's just not for me. I just want to show him that his grace has not been taken for granted.
I want to make him proud. I know this is probably really lame for this sub, but it's so hard for me to wrap my head around how to repay him or thank him without coming off as weird. He has a son of his own, and I don't want to make him uncomfortable by making him feel like I look at him like a father. Figure, I don't know if that's wrong or not. Any advice is welcome, please. Semicolon. TL. Doctor my guardian angel helped and is still helping me get my shit together. And I'm an awkward man baby that feels like I have a new father and want to tell him I immensely appreciate him but don't know how to not seem weird about it. <laughs> Nothing wrong in expressing gratitude. Express it in ways you can and in ways you know how. Don't forget that he will be feeling pleasure and pride in your progress so anything you say is a cherry on top. If you want to, write it all down in a letter so you can add and remove bits before you give it. Also, is there any industry nominations that you could submit him for, Barber of the Year, or similar? If not, make him a Barber of the Year trophy to display at his station. You're obviously good with your hands. Best wishes to you your wife, and your angel ex. You could write a letter to him expressing everything you've just described in this post. That's usually what I do when I want to express my feelings to the people I love the most. I think letters are sincere and expressive because they usually contain a lot of thought. Writing a letter sounds cliche or effortless. But I assure you, someone like your guardian angel, Someone who's helped you for years and encouraged you while expecting nothing in return. Would be deeply moved by how grateful you are. Even if you express it through something as simple as a letter. I saw writing a letter as a suggestion in the comments. But I wanted to express to you how much a letter could mean. Especially if you pour your heart and soul out in it. 